This Saturday, the Trojans travel to take on Sunbelt Conference opponent Georgia State. The Panthers are one of three teams that is undefeated in conference play, so Troy will need to be well prepared when they take the field. Last week, the Troy football team dropped to 4-2 and two on the season after falling to South Alabama. The Trojans will look to bounce back from that loss as they take on the Georgia State Panthers Saturday afternoon in Georgia State Stadium. Head coach Nell Brown says that the team will learn from the mistakes that they made last week. I think you look at it when you have a, a disappointing performance, one of two things. You either completely just put it to bed, don't worry about it, or use it as a teaching tool. And there was numerous teaching tools in that football game, and we better learn from those mistakes that we made in that game and get better. And I think we're, we're aligned to do that. Brown also talked about how the Panthers' offense will be the toughest test all year for the Trojans' defense. Uh, their quarterback is uh, – Connor Manning, I think he may be our most improved player in the conference. Uh, he, he is really playing at a high level. Uh, the receiver, Penny Hart, was first team all conference as a true freshman. Uh, had, a, had a huge game uh, against uh, ULM last week. And their backs are extremely versatile. They play, they play multiple uh, running backs, and, and they get the ball to them in a, in a variety of different ways. They line them up out wide, uh, throw them the ball out of the backfield, run them in between tackles. Brown also mentions why the offense will need to perform at a high level against the Panthers' defense. Uh, they're playing the run extremely well. Uh, three down front, uh, and and they've got maybe the best corner uh, tandem in, in our conference. Those guys have played together now for three years, um, and, and Jerome Smith and, and Shandon Sullivan think they do as good a job of covering as any, any tandem in our conference. And lastly, Brown spoke on why the special teams unit will also need to be prepared. And special teams wise, they put Hart back there uh, in the punt return, so we've got to be we've got to be really. Uh, uh, wary of where he's at at all times. Uh, he has he not had an opportunity to get loose, and, and we want to keep it that way this week. And then they put the running back, Glenn Smith, back on kickoff returns, and he's already taken one to the house and had several, several big returns, and he's done that really throughout his whole career. Kickoff from Georgia State Stadium is set for 1 p.m. and will be available on ESPN3 and the Troy Radio Network. And after getting their third shutout in four games, the Troy soccer team will be traveling to San Marcos, Texas Friday for a matchup against the Texas State Bobcats. Both teams are on a winning streak currently with Troy having two consecutive wins and the Bobcats having six. The game is scheduled to start at 7 p.m. and be sure to follow the team at Troy Children's WSOC for updates. The Trojan volleyball team's next game will be Friday when they welcome the Arkansas State Red Wolves into Trojan Arena. Last year, the Red Wolves swept the Trojans in three sets. In that game, the Trojans had five total blocks compared to the Red Wolves' three. But Arkansas State had nine service aces and Troy did not record any. This year's match is set for 6.30 p.m. and will be available on ESPN3. There's a big challenge coming up for the men's and women cross country team as they will be traveling to Boone, North Carolina to compete in the Sun Belt Cross Country Championships. The men will go into this meet after finishing 12th at the Alabama Crimson Classic Cross Country Invitational and the women finishing 30th. However, they will have plenty of time to prepare as the meet is not until October 28th. The men's golf team gets a bit of a break after last week's tournament in College Grove, Tennessee at the Intercollegiate at the Grove. The men finished eighth out of 12 teams. The men will hope to improve on that finish when they travel to Locksley to compete in the Steelwood Intercollegiate October 28th through the 29th. After finishing last in the Magnolia Invitational in West Point, Mississippi, the ladies golf team will get a chance to redeem themselves this Sunday. The Trojans will travel to Kiowa Island in South Carolina to compete in the Palmetto Invitational. The tournament will begin on Sunday and conclude on Tuesday. And both men's and women's tennis teams will be in action this week. The men will look to improve this season as they travel to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to compete in the ITA Regional Championship. The tournament started today and will end on Monday. And after coming out on top in every draw they participated in at the Mercer Gridiron Classic, the women will also be competing in the ITA Regional Championship, which is also hosted today through Monday. Their tournament is being held in Auburn. That's all the time we have for Trojan Sports Now. Check us out online at youtube.com slash Troy Trojan Vision to catch anything you missed. For Sarah Drake, I'm Brianna Jones. Thanks for watching and always go, go Trojans. Trojans.